Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of our Minecraft survival series. My name is Joe Buffalo and I help gamers who play Minecraft Bedrock overcome challenges in the game by teaching you how to play the game in a simplified way. Joining me today is... Leo! Hey Leo, how are you doing? Good. What do you want to do today? I want to build an iron golem farm and a trading hall. Oh, Leo, that's fantastic. An iron golem farm and a trading hall. Yes. That is a super idea. You know what? I found a great spot to go build this. All right, show me. But first, before we go, we're going to need some name tags named. The reason that we need the name tags is so that when we find some zombie villagers, we can name them so they don't despawn. All right, Leo, what name do you want? Larry. Larry? Okay, we can put Larry as a name. That's a great idea. Larry is our first one. And how about the other one? Lucy. Lucy? Yes. <laughs> Lucy and Larry. Okay. Let's grab the supplies we need to build our trading hall and iron golem farm. Everything we need to get started is in this chest. We've got cobblestone, we've got wool and wood for beds. We've got some magma blocks, some moss blocks. And the reason I'm using this is just because I want to design it a little better than just using some stone. So this is actually going to be our first big build. All right, Leo. So the area I have picked out is about 400 blocks away and we do not need a boat. So follow me. We are here. This is the area that I cleared out. Do you like it? Yeah, it looks super big. Okay. I want to introduce a new block to everyone. And that new block is called scaffolding. I probably use scaffolding the most when I'm playing in a survival world. I find that scaffolding is the best block to use when we are working in survival. It allows you to get up and down very simple. And to make that block, all you need is bamboo and some string. Put that together and you've got scaffolding. All right. So we're going to go out this way to right about, say, here. This looks good. I like this spot, Leo. All right. Looks nice and in the middle for right now. <laughs> so what we're going to put down is four pieces of scaffolding. Once we've got our four high scaffolding, go ahead and place a block on each side. Now let's fill in that square. Now we climb up there. We're going to add two more pieces of scaffolding. And next, we're going to go ahead and place down four beds around this square. Two. Two, three, and four. Now that we know where the center of this village is going to be, we're going to dig out a little spot underground in order for us to have zombie villagers chase us in, and we can hide them under here. Yeah, because if they get burned, they're going to die. That's correct. If they get burned, they will die. And I got the name tag. I have the name tags. Check. Check. So when a zombie villager chases us, we can run in here, turn around, run back out, place down a block, and trap them inside. Uh -huh. That way the sun won't burn them. And you don't put a name tag on him, he will disappear. That is correct. If we don't name him, he will despawn and disappear. And also we don't want a creeper here. No, no creepers, no skellies. Let's see, do we have any uh, zombie villagers over this way? Um, I don't nah, nah, see nah. any. Oh, Here they come. Creeper, creeper, creeper. Run, 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 run. He just jumped into <laughs> He made a creeper face when he blew up the ground. Look at it. What? Come over here. Where are you at? I see it. You see the creeper face. Yeah. He blew up the ground and made a creeper face. <laughs> Bruh. So goofy. <laughs> All right, Leo, no zombie villagers on the first night, so let's continue our build. We're going to start off from where we left off and go three more out this way on each side. All right. And now we can connect the whole square. And now what we want to do is take some more beds and surround these beds like so. Move the bed. <gasps> There's oh. a poster. Let me get the let me get the potion, alright? Oh <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Oh I hit I have the key. Oh I killed the key? You already did? Yeah. Well, that didn't take long. Oh, I got one shot. Oh, I got one! <gasps> you got one? Yeah, there's two of them! Alright, bring them. 
All right. Oh, look good. it. It's Larry and Lucy. Come yeah. on, Larry and Lucy. Larry you got them? The brown one? I'm going to go clear the path. You bring them, okay? All right. I'll make sure that everything is clear along the way. All right. We got a spider over here. I'm going to go slow. I just seen lightning Attack strike. Me. Are you coming? Yeah. All right. We're going to try to take one at a time. So you chase one. I'll have one chase me. You take the other one with you. Okay. I'm walking like them. I'm going to try to get one. Here we go. Oh, oh, they see me now. You oh. got to get one's attention. Oh, wait. This wait, way. Hey, there. Oh. Wait, Daddy, you hit one. He he go to you. And why do they keep both? Don't hurt them, because if you hurt them, they'll die. I can't. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Here's what we could do. There's um. Skeleton. Oh, there's a skeleton. Let me go get rid of the skeleton. You got the skeleton? Yeah. All right, let me see if I can do this. Separate them. Oh, we got, go, we got, we got okay, one more. He's, he's coming. All right. There he comes. Come oh, on. Not you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got one. Got one? Ah, uh, get out of my way, bro. You're gonna be shark bait. Hey, got one, Leo. We got one. Yay. What about mine? All right, let's get the other one. Come on. You come down here, too. I'm gonna block him. Or you. Is he coming in? Oh, here he comes. Oh, hey, hey, get out of my way. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> Guess what, Leo? What? Here I got it. We've got... The zombie Larry. I mean, I want to do Moody. We got Larry and we've got Lucy. Do you want to name them? Yeah. Okay, hold on. You're going to name one, I'll name one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You got Larry. I'm going to name mine this one. Okay, you named him? Yeah. Let's see. Gnarly. Oh, we got Larry. And then over here, we're going to give this one Lucy. Lucy. So now they won't despawn. And we can keep them in there. Those those guys are going to be our new villagers. Yes, sir. So now we can sleep at night. So let's go up top here and take a nap. <laughs> uh, uh. We've got our 40 beds placed. We've got our yep. two zombie villagers. Yep. Uh, let's take all the blocks from underneath the beds away. All right. Let's do that. Now we'll just add one more piece of scaffolding on top. And then we're going to surround that with blocks. Now, Leah, what we want to do is go out seven more blocks. So for a total of eight blocks in all four directions. Okay, Leo, once that's done, we're going to go to each corner. We're going to okay. put one temporary block down here. And then we're going to place one up above it like this. And then extend this out another three blocks for a total of four more in each direction. Just like that. Well, like garbage? That's it. Now we got to close this whole thing in. Oh, really? Yeah. So we're going to start filling this in. All right. Yo, this is insane. <laughs> you like it, bud? Yeah. It's like a dance floor. But you know what I don't like about it? What? It's too plain. Why don't we put some moss cobblestone inside of it? You want to do that? Oh, okay. Let's go, chicken. Frog, your buffalo is the goat. <laughs> You're dumb. All right. We're, what did you do to your face? <laughs> I bet. You're a wither skeleton. I bet. All right, now we're going to add a one block wall around all this. So we want to put a temporary block down here and then one on top. Right, mm -hmm. bud? And then we're going to surround this whole thing. Can right. you do that? How are you just going fast mode? Fast mode? Yeah, you make it more easier. I'm in pretty fast mode. No, you're not. Now we have to put slabs on top of these blocks in order for nothing to spawn on them. So we're going to put down three blocks in the corner, just like this. And then we're going to hop up here. Move these five out of the way. And put down five more blocks. And then don't forget to put your half slabs on those five blocks. And that's your spawning platform for the iron golems. Now we can go ahead and place in our signs for our lava killing chamber. 
I'm going to put a temporary block here. I'm going to place a slab on the upper half of that temporary block. And then we'll go ahead and remove this temporary block. Uh-huh. Wait, what's going to fly in there? And then we could just place our sign. So this is going to be the floor. So our first sign will go on the slab. Go ahead and put one on the front and the back. So we'll place one there. And then we'll come on the other side. And we'll place one there. Ooh, it looks pretty cool. All right, now we're going to go to the side of what we just did. And we're going to place three more signs. So one on this one, one on the middle, and one on the very end. Do this on both sides. So that is going to be the floor for the lava killing area. Now we're going to put the walls around this. And then we can place one right on top, just like that. Mm -hmm. And once you've got your sign that's up one, then just bring three more. One, two, and three. And do the same thing. One, two, three, and four. Swing around to the other side. One, two, three, four. and four. And then one, two, Check it down. three, and, and four. And once we've got that complete just like that, we need to go get a bucket of lava, bud. What I'm going to do is take out two rows around this yeah, and middle also, piece. And also leak. Like and this. And I'm going to put in magma blocks here. And this will kill the cat. Yeah. Can you go out there and get us a bucket of lava? Yeah. Okay, be careful. Three, two, one. Now it should just spread out oh. and stay there and not fall to the ground, which it does. <laughs> Why would not go in there? You'll or die. Jump. Now, we're going to put down some temporary blocks. And the way to do that is to put them just like this and run them. Oh, excuse me. Hey, I want to help you. I want to help you. Like, okay, and then we're just going to follow this pattern the whole way around. Uh, and then, so we'll put one here and there. Then, and then go right down. Oops. So here's why we don't have to make a temporary water source. You ready? Yeah. Once you put these temporary blocks in, and you place a bucket of water here, and then you place a second bucket of water here, then you can take away from here... And then add it here. Take away from here. Add it here. Let me try. And do this the whole way across. Let me try. Here. I'll give you a bucket. We're going to take a bucket of water. And we're going to put it in each corner. So we're going to place it right in the corner. Oh. Got it? Got it. We have to remove the temporary blocks. Are you ready? Yeah. So we just move all the blocks. Temporary blocks. Oh, it's going... Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't hit an iron wall. Try not to hit the floor, okay? Okay, the water's flowing all correctly. We have a one block space in the middle. So the spawning platform is 100% complete. Now we're going to come underneath and cover up the beds with some slabs. So that the villagers can't use them to sleep in. We're going to need a weakness potion and some golden apples. So in order to get a weakness potion, we're going to need a brewing stand. Leo, can you make us a brewing stand? Yeah, we need blaze rods and cobblestone. Blaze rods and cobblestone, do you have that? Yes. Alright, go ahead and put the brewing stand there. All right, so then we're going to need some water for the brewing stand. So what I'll do is open this up here and just place a bucket of water in there. Then we're going to need three bottles, Leo. Three? So in order to get some bottles, you're going to need some glass. Do you have any glass on you? Yeah, I do. All right, let's go make some bottles. Put, make put some water. Oops. It's okay. There you nice. Now go ahead and put those bottles into the brewing stand. One by one. One, two, and three. Nice. Now, if you look at the interface of it, the brewing stand has a spot for three bottles. 
then it's got a spot over here which is for some blaze powder so leo can you go make us some blaze powder yeah i i just have blaze all right so you take a blaze rod and you turn it into blaze powder would you be able to do that yeah all right leo we need a fermented spider eye do you know how to make a fermented spider eye no all right so you're gonna need sugar all right i have that you're gonna need a mushroom a mushroom i got that and you're gonna need a spider eye all right, let's see it. Whoa. It's growing. That's kind of gross. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to eat it. <laughs> I... All right, put it in the brewing stand. And you, after 20 seconds, into a potion of weakness. Oh, I see it. Right? Yeah. So we got a potion of weakness. Now, the next thing you want to do is place... Because we want to throw it at the zombie villager. So for that to happen, because he won't drink it, we need to place a piece of gunpowder inside of the brewing stand. So do you have gunpowder? Yeah. And then again, you see it to start back up, do the same process, and over the next 20 seconds, we'll get a splash potion of weakness. And there you have it, a splash potion of weakness. Now we can throw that at our zombie villager. And then once we feed him a golden apple, and after a few minutes, that zombie villager will turn into a villager. Really? And give us a discount. Really, Dad? Really. So the first thing you want to do, Leo, is throw your weakness potion and hit a zombie villager with it. So go ahead and do that. Uh. Nice. Now give him a golden apple. I got it. And I think the other guy, too, got affected. So just give him one. You only needed to use one. There you go. Maybe. One weakness potion for two zombies. That's fantastic. I got weakness. I'm weakness, too, by the way, I think. Don't turn. Yep, 20 more seconds. I think we all got weakness. <laughs> weakness you see them shaking? Yeah. Okay, so when they stop shaking, they're going to turn into villagers. So let's let them go, and when we come back, they should be villagers, right? Yeah. I need that one. We've got one, Leo. We've got one. Do you see them? Yeah. Hey, hey, come on. Here. Come back. He's running away. Honey, oh, he's about the zombie villager. Yeah, he's afraid of the zombie. That's why he ran away. So who turned, Larry or Lucy? I mean, oh, Larry, let's go. It's taking so long, Larry. I'm let me see. Oh my God, look at it. Look at. Lucy's afraid of Larry. Look at <gasps> Larry, you're you're normal again. Let me see. Let me and see. and Lucy, you yeah. guys are good. Let me see where he trained. All right, we're gonna leave both of you down here. While we go finish the flooring, flooring complete. And I also enclosed the beds so that the villagers can't accidentally get up inside and sleep in one. And now I will start on their enclosures and where all the trades will take place. So what I did was from this corner, I came out three blocks, created a corner, and then I'm going to put little pods in that each, excuse me, trying to do a video here. That each villager can be housed in without any danger. I'm going to continue this five block pattern the entire way down. We'll end up going three high. Just like this. And then we'll close it in and place a trap door here. With a profession block here. So that the village is inside that little chamber. So let me go finish this around here to get 40 of these chambers set up. All right, bud, we've got it all completed. Let's go take a little quick tour. We put some walls up. Yeah, in case a zombie come. We put a door on here so that we can keep the zombies out. Now we can bring up our villagers, start breeding them, so we can start our trading hall. But I think we should do that on the live stream. What do you think? Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start live streaming this. Join us over in the live stream. Okay, we are back. We got all the villagers in place thanks to our last couple streams. And in our last stream, we actually started our trades with them and locked all of our trades in. We currently have 24 librarians that can trade us the enchantments to max out our tools, our weapons, and our armor. However, the problem is those trades are too expensive. There are several ways to have our villagers get us discounts on the trades. One of those ways is to have a zombie bite a villager, and once we cure the villager, the villager will offer discounts on the trade. And the villagers that are close to the one that was healed will also offer discounts. 
And the last way to get discounts is to be hero of the village and win a raid. So what we're going to do is develop a system where the zombies in a minecart will roll up bite the villager, will cure the villager, and get two different discounts within the trading hall. So on the outside of the villager trading hall, I opened up all of the walls so that the villagers were exposed. And what I can do is put a trap door right above their head here, so that when the zombie rolls by in the minecart, if the trap door is down, they're not able to bite that villager. So I can control all the bites happening within this trading hall. So I'm going to go ahead and put all the trap doors up above each of our villagers to get this started. After you get all the trap doors and the half slabs in with your villagers in place, go ahead and place a powered rail in front of each of our villagers, just like this. And we're going to go ahead and stick a lever right underneath those powered rails. We'll do this to every single villager. And then in between these powered rails, we're going to just stick regular rails. So you'll see this whole pattern around the entire trading hall. Once you've got that completed, go ahead and stick two power rails here. And we'll place the lever here and turn it on. And then go ahead and wrap yourself some regular rails. Place down a powered rail here with a block of your choice and a lever on top of that block. Okay, now that we have all that set up, it's time to go get ourselves a zombie. All right, we need to find a zombie with some sort of armor on it. Come on, get in there. How is he not? There he goes. I got him. I got him. I got him. <laughs> we got him. Okay. We're going to put a name on you. Oh, let me shut these doors so nobody else comes in. Here we go. You ready? I'm going to name you Little Jimmy. Lee Alex wanted little Jimmy, so we've got ourselves a little Jimmy. He's got all gold plate on him. Should have named you Golden Boy. So let me tell you what happened here. Before I put the double walls up, there was a baby zombie that breached the wall and bit this villager and turned him into a zombie villager. So he already took the work away from you for number one. Now that this librarian is healed, from his zombie state, he gives us a little bit of a discount. You can see one from 40 to 23 emeralds in a book in order to get Feather Falling 4. So I want to see if the theory, if you get them bit twice, still works. We're going to test that out. And let me show you how this works. So this is the guy that we want to have bitten, turned into a zombie. As long as these are down, they can't get bit. So if I get rid of this... Place down a block here. I'm going to turn on this lever. And then I'm going to come over here to our little Jimmy friend. We're going to make sure this stays off. So when the minecart comes up here, it parks right in front of him. And I'll show you how he doesn't get bit with this trap door being down. One important fact. Before you do this, make sure you go into your settings. And you put it on hard mode. We are now officially going into hard mode for the remainder of the season. The reason you have to have it in hard mode is because you have a 100% chance rate of it turning into a zombie villager. Where if it's in normal, you've only got a 50% chance and the villager can die. 3, 2, 1, little Jimmy, go. There goes little Jimmy. And you see he can't get him, right? Nothing's happening. Just kind of scaring him a little. Let's send him back. Ow. Ow. He got me. Make sure you shut this off so he parks himself. Ow. Stop it. God, he's so feisty. He's mad because he can't eat. Now, if I pop this open, and we do the exact same thing, we're going to turn off this lever here so he can park. Make sure that we're on hard again. I'm going to double check. Just double, triple check. Yep, we're on hard. Here we go. All right, little Jimmy. He's very vicious. Let's go turn this guy into a zombie villager. Three, two, one, go. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. There we go. And you can see the green right here. He's a zombie villager now. We're going to shut this off. We're going to send him back. Get out of the way so he doesn't bite me. Take a seat. We'll get rid of this. We can close this now. For Now we can heal him very fast. Get ourselves a weakness potion. 
and a golden apple. Hit him with the weakness potion. And then feed him a golden apple. And in about five minutes, he'll turn back into a villager. I highly suggest you only do this one villager at a time because when they come back to life as a normal villager, they may link to a different job profession and then you're going to have to move them around because they're not going to be in front of their job profession block. Oh, look, he's changed back. Let's see if he has a better discount. No, stayed the same. So that theory doesn't work anymore. We're just going to have to get him bit once. But I think what we're going to do is put this on a live stream. So we're going to go ahead and live stream this. And we'll come back and show you what this entire trading hall, iron farm, discounted villager area looks like. Once it's all said and done. Well, Leonardo, everything is complete. Yay. Our iron golem farm is done. You want to go check it out? Yeah. Oh, On our last live stream. We did, whoops, that door always does that to me. <laughs> On our last live stream, we got everything discounted. All the villagers are cheap now. Huh? Cheap trades. Yay. Well, Leo, I do have one surprise for you. Well, actually two surprises. You want to see the first one? I was really excited. So, one iron farm wasn't enough. I built another one. Over here. Come over there. Check it out. <laughs> what? Over this way. Where'd you go? I'm here. I'm going to you. Oh. Check it out. You see it? Yeah. There's another iron farm over here. How much long did you get you this? Um, just a couple hours. Oh, you forgot from Tessie. <laughs> oh, come check this out. We have unlimited redstone now. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Stop lying. And we have a whole bunch of emeralds from these farmers once we and, do our and melon and, and pumpkin farm. Ender pearl? What? We got ender pearl. Ender pearls? Yep, we'll have ender pearls too. For, for, for five emeralds. This is great, right? Yeah. Two iron farms, because one is just not Alex. enough. Yeah, I had to name them Lee Alex and Joe Buffalo. And me. So I just did an exact replica of the one over there. Make sure you're 97 blocks apart from bed to bed. So the furthest bed out on this side and the furthest bed out on that side needs to have 97 blocks in between. Mm. Once you do that, you can create two different villages. And with those two different villages, we can AFK over here. Like mm. right about here. Halfway in the middle of the two. And then we'll put a water stream that brings all the iron right here to us. I got one more surprise for you. Are you ready for it? Wait, I need to. I'm gonna show you. It's over here. This is the last surprise. Right over in this chest here. Here. Three, two, one. <gasps> all that is yours on the bottom, and the what? one arrow. It is all maxed out armor, weapons. It? It's all yours. Uh huh. It's that for you. Don't forget your one arrow. Thank you, man. Get you all equipped. You have infinity and everything. Well, you forgot something. What? <laughs> Who? You forgot little Jimmy. Oh, uh, little Jimmy's gonna hang out inside with us now in case we need him again. But put your put your armor on. Let's see it all. Wow. Right. How's it feel to have all this power? Don't hit me, okay? Okay. I didn't put thorns on it because I thought we'd make another set for thorns when we need it. But now, once I finish this other iron farm and get all the discounts done, I can get the same armor. I have huh? to be careful with the sword. I know. It's so <laughs> powerful. It's not back. You should go try it on something. Is there a mob or something you can try it on? Hmm. I'm going to try it with the horse. Go ahead. Three, two. Whoa, you sent it flying. Knock back. All right, Leo. Well, I hope you enjoy your new armor, your new weapons, and your new gear. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope everybody had a great day. I hope everybody learned how to build an iron farm. I hope everybody learned how to get villagers the easiest way possible. I hope everybody learned how to get the villagers cheap discounts on their trades. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.
Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good day.